That's good. Sponsor since I have Logitech. I actually love Logitech gear. I'm actually gonna slow down because I want to use Grime and Gadget here in Acolyte of Pain and on um, Bloodhoof, Brave, and Ellie Armor Smith, things like that. I'm still a controller, I'd rather play it slow, get some AoE value. Use my life as a resource a little bit. I wonder if I have a draw, though most of the draws with Slam Acolyte and Shield Block. Not sure if I can get too much more draw from Controller. Got the Dirty Rats too. But I need to start my pressure soon, right? I think shield sounds too hard to use without just the car. I think with shield block and bash and um, the one alley armor smith is fine. One of the best targets. Maybe get Don Honcho and Dacolite, that'd be so sick. Has to do against Rainer Mage. I don't know, it's the first time I've ever played this deck. Usually controller is bad, but I have more threats. He probably has mulch in his hand with how he's played. The only reason why I'm still in the game is he hasn't drawn Nourish yet. My fishy is gonna be hard to use because I have no roll in effects with my fishies, but I need to kill that 5 1. The reason I don't like brawl is I feel like if we sleep with the fishes is so good. I can just clear most of the stuff with that instead. Judging by how this game is going, I think it's a mistake to have Frothing Berserkers in this list. It's better to have higher stuff, like, even though Frothing is really good, um, I'm not able to snowball them as I play for tempo, and I'd rather just have two more big minions. Probably take one out for Grom and another one out for some kind of cycles. His next Jade will be 8 8. I don't want to play Rag right now. He probably has Mulch. I'd rather play Rag into a better board for it, like into one of his 8 8s. You think Tempo Mage beats Jade Druid? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I think it's Holy Innervate and no Gadgetzan, and probably stuff like Mulch and maybe Swipe. Because it has to be whole. These are all situational cards. Fill a Rage, maybe. Nice. Brawl 
Brawl for Jades. Brawl's not even really good against Jades. Jade gives infinite, so you can't kill our stuff. You have to kill them. Now the question is, do I bash this Aya? If Rag hits it at 10-10, I have execute for it. If I bash this, kill this, then Rag um, this is a 2. It'll die on the trade, or it could it's be a 10-2. Trade here, or it's bash next turn. I don't think it makes sense. If I can bash next turn, or execute, depending on what happens. Like, there's no way for me to set up good rag shots this turn, is the problem, because he has like 9 and 10. Actually, what maybe what I should have done is shield slam the 10 10 with bash shield slam and leave up a 9 9. And that way, if the 9 9 trades with the Ragnaros, I can trade the Acolyte for it for the 1 less damage. We only have four more, like six more cards in our deck. Two of them are Dirty Rat, which are also some big threats. Dirty Rat's pretty good against Reno decks, that's why. I think with the dirt, double Dirty Rat and all the minions, like, might be able to beat Reno Mage. Because they're also two six minions that can stop Alcrys. Sex is bad against J Druid. Even teched for it. This is like as good as this will ever run for me, because both his nourishes were his bottom six. And he hasn't played a gadget in yet. Like somehow this game was so slow. His J Druid is like tectified against Sagra and not Reno decks and control decks. I didn't play this because I'm assuming he has some removal like Wrath, just been holding them. So I'd rather wait. I got the best deal anywhere. This boat innervates too. It's like messing up some of these things, <laughs> taking some fatigue. Can we actually win just based on fatigue? He's on 7, although he's not going to fatigue anymore. So we have Bash here, but we have no um, Ragnaros. I don't see how we're going to do the last damage. <laughs> if you mess up a little bit more, maybe. Fifteen plus twenty-five is forty damage. I have thirty-seven, thirty-nine. Don Hunter here power gets me killed. Not that this would even help that much. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Basically, there's no way I win.
but let's try. We just the only way to win is he messes up his gadget stuff, like if he takes fatigue damage. <laughs> Is he gonna mess up somehow? <clears throat> Probably not. He's shopping him, them in pretty carefully. We need to find a way to do one damage so we kill Frothing with Axe. Acolyte's better than Shield Block. I believe so. Slam really good here. Slam and um, Rouge and Ghoul. Uh, I don't think Jade Druid needs a nerf. I don't think Jade Druid will quite take over the meta. Because there's so many decks like the Rogue deck I played last game, uh, Dragon Warrior, Dragon Priest. Reno Lock, Reno Mage, they can all stop Jade Druid. Jade Druid doesn't really have an answer for, um... For Cruel, for Reno Lock. If you run out of demons and just play Cruel, they can't stop it. Unless their Jade Carrow is super big by that point. You're, you should be favored though, probably. He uses coin turn one already, I believe, right? Yeah. I do have less armor gain in this deck, but I have two taunts. One of my taunts gives a lot of armor. Need to clear this before upgrade effects hit. Blood and blunder. Bleed me thirsty. Orange fishes is good. Let's see if I have a better play. Bash. Oh, that's good. And this stuff is better than Brawl, right? Like, against Part War and stuff, this is much better than Brawl would be. But Fishes... Fishes you can also use, just... Like, slam Fishes to deal 3 damage to 1 minion. Okay, armor up. Unfortunately, I don't have just the card, but it's a cut I had to make to fit on all these minions to pressure. But I still have the double shield blocks and double bash taunts. Execute. I didn't think that this would happen. Like, I didn't think that I would need that. Oh, right, it's not part where it's doing Fierce Monkey. Oops. Okay. He's running Finja because he drew three cards.
There's no whirlwind effect. I got Finjo too from the Curator, not the other ones. I should I should have tried to trade off my last two two, so I would have a harder time. All right, rogue. What do I want to do? Miracle rogue. I just want removal. Basically, as much removal as possible. Minions are bad against miracle rogue. Thought some brawl rat. I mean, it's good, but you can uh, rat plus. Like, Warrior is really good single target removal, so you can rat and just remove whatever you can. Or you could rat into your um, Sleep at the Fish's turn, so. Yeah, I yeah, always Mulgan rat. I think I would only keep rat against, like, Reno Mage, maybe. Or none. Or against nothing. I'm not sure if that required to keep. I wouldn't even keep rat against Reno Mage, probably. They're, like, the best cards in matchups, but you have time to play them later. Shade Rogue's better than Chore. <laughs> Could be. The deck went through more uh, iterations because I changed it a little bit. This deck I'm still going through the first iteration. I've only played two games with this deck. What? They fell on the track. Get more cards. If I did this first, I wouldn't. I would only get two cards from Acolyte, so I like this better. This is the card that got buffed. <laughs> this guy's toast. <laughs> I can punish him with fishies here. It's good against Conceal too, though. Uh, the problem is I don't have Axe, and this doesn't line up well. I like the Acolyte here, but I might mill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, let's do it. It trades around the same as Ally Armor Smith, I just need to get it into execute range. If I Ally Armor Smith, I can get into bash range, but it's weaker to sap. It's really weak to sap. Acolyte, I get an extra armor. I guess it's not that much different against, against sap, but I get an extra 2 armor. And uh, if he doesn't have sap, I need to cycle through my deck to try to draw um, shield slam and stuff and fire racks. And I need to find my second fishes soon so I can kill concealed gadgets in. And I need a whirlwind effect to do that as well. Nobody, no <laughs> this guy's
Do I need to execute this? Not really. Maybe next turn uh, I can execute so I can get through and draw more cards with Acolyte. Okay, so there's Miracle until here. He got three cards, so he's running... Uh, whatever. Finja. We don't want a rat, because ratting a Finja is really bad. Get extra card, execute this guy. Death of Five for more more of a border life doesn't matter as much because he's kind of playing more of a board control rogue with uh, the Finja curator stuff. I don't know if I expect this to be like cold blood Leroy right now. I had to burn this for this turn. I get an extra card though, so it kind of pays off. But yeah, ultimately I'm still looking for a way to kill Finja, so I need fishes and a revenge or a ghoul. Or I use both ghouls, so I basically need my last fishes and a revenge if he has Finja, or just find some other way to beat Finja. My deck is not really capable of uh, not playing minions against Finja though. Like my deck is way too minion heavy. To not run, to not play minions against Finja. Not that Jeskar tank up kind of deck. Playing tempo based controller might just not be good. Like opens yourself up to so many more things and just trying to tank up and kill everything. Kill Drake with this, but like this is a good Grom target. And plus, now I get to save my Fire Axe and my Acolyte into the field. It's really flexible because I can use Acolyte to activate XQ and this to kill 3 3 or something else. Yeah, he's drawn a lot of his cards already. So, Finja, like it's a high variance card, right? At this point, Finja might not be able to pull with Murlocs. Like, yeah, he's drawn three of his Murlocs now. So, Finja's useless for him now. There's, there's only one more Warli There's only one more Bluegill Warrior in his deck. I think it's too late now. I messed up. I should have played Dirty Rat here. Ugh. It's still better. I should play Dirty Rat uh, before swinging with Grom. Because I can pull like Leroy and stuff. And it's 6 health. They're the same thing, except I get extra tank up with the Dirty Rat.
Axe to face doesn't matter enough. I can't, I can't do the last two damage. Right, it's not like I can give him this five, then two, then it matters. <laughs> like, Sleep of the Fish is yeah, pretty good replacement for Brawl. It does a lot of the same things, just a little bit more thinking.
starting